Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. Preval back again with another unboxing video. Today I sort of have my latest prize from Autograph Alliances. So if you don't know, Autograph Alliance is a Facebook-based autograph group. Uh, they usually do a mystery box show. It's 30 boxes. They show a bunch of headliners. You buy a box. You know the drill at this point. Uh, they have started up a new, like, spots kind of thing. It's a little different. But anyway, the uh, big headliner for this show was a Mark Hamill signed Luke Skywalker piece. And there were several other pieces I was interested in. I took a shot and... As has been the story lately, luck was not really on my side. I ended up hitting a... I can't remember her name. Uh, the actress who played Daisy Duke in the Dukes of Hazzard TV show. And some other actress I hadn't even heard of. So I decided to spin the wheel to try to get some of the prizes on there, which were really good. My prize ended up being a Funko, which you know I love. However, it was signed by, I believe it was Kid from Kid and Play, like a 80s, 90s rap group or some, oh, nobody I was interested in. And it was only one of them, so it's not even like it was the complete set. So I was a little bummed. But I put it up in the trade thread and someone got in touch with me. They had gotten the Play Pop and they wanted the other one. We negotiated around for a bit, and I ended up trading for this. Are you ready to see it? I know, that was a lot of build-up. Let's get ready for the unboxing. Chomp, thank you, chomp. Careful, your dentist does not want to see you again. So, as you know, I'm a big wrestling fan. And he had a couple of wrestling-related things, but there wasn't anything that was really jumped out at me. But I did end up trading for something signed by a wrestler. However, it's not a wrestling-related pop. Bubble up, not bubble. Geez. tissue paper. And we have from the world of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the Super Shredder Pop, signed by the one and only Big Sexy Kevin Nash. Pop is an excellent shape. No issues jumping out to me. Now, this does not have a COA, but number one, I've seen Nash's signature enough that I'm pretty confident in it. And number two, he had pictures of it getting signed, so I was willing to take the chance on it. So if you don't know, in the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, when Shredder gets into the ooze and turns into the giant Super Shredder, they needed somebody big to wear the costume. And the only person they could find who was big enough was a wrestler just starting out named Kevin Nash. Who of course, later went on to be Oz, Vinny Vegas, Diesel, and Kevin Nash. So this has always been one of those little interesting pop culture things in wrestling. I love Ninja Turtles. They were was big into them growing up really big and of course i love wrestling so this was something i really wanted and had to have i've been looking at it for a while and i was happy to make that trade the kid pop really wouldn't have had any special meaning in my collection it would have just been kind of there whereas this is something i really like and will cherish so what do you think obviously happy wise i'm very happy with the deal Money-wise, what do you think? Did I come out okay? Did I miss out big time by giving up that pop? Let me know what you think down below. You know I love hearing from you guys. Ding that bell so you can be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button over here so you don't miss any videos. So always be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And remember, 
Go Ninja, go Ninja, go.